What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the delete file action. Delete file does exactly what it sounds like, it deletes a file that you are passing the, the parameters into, uh, and then you can delete that file. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate now, I have my OneDrive for Business flow, and I've got a trigger here, which is when a file is modified, that's running on my Power Automate folder, and we're not going to include any subfolders. Next, I can click New Step, and then I can type into here the uh, OneDrive for Business connector, and find that here. I can scroll down until we get to Delete File. Delete File only has a single parameter, and that is the file path. Now, you can pa pass the path into this, but it needs to be the user-friendly path and not the um, path which is the um, you know unique identifier with all the letters and numbers and stuff it needs to be the actual um, friendly path which is you know forward slash power automate forward slash whatever so for this I'm just going to use the picker just to show you this uh, how this works so I'm just going to click on the picker icon click on the arrow next to root scroll down to power automate scroll to stop looping and then I'm going to delete this one, which is test copy from path. So what this is going to do is this is going to delete this. So this is the, the user-friendly path that I was talking about. If you can pass that in, so there are a few triggers and a few actions that will get this friendly path. Not all of them do. Some of them have the, um, the, the sort of GUID-y uh, file path. Um, if you can get this path and pass this in, this is how you can get this to work. Else you can, um, you can specify something using the picker, like I've done. So let's test this out. So I'll click on test and I'll perform the trigger action. And that is off and running. And then I can flick over to my OneDrive for business. So I'm in my Power Automate folder here. I can open one of my files. Um, I can delete some text out of it. Uh, and that should save it. And then we can see that it was updated about a minute ago. That's good. And then we go back to the flow and we can see the flow run successfully. So that's taking a minute to load up. If I go to my stop looping folder, when we were looking at the picker, we saw that there was two files in there. Uh, and still two files in there. <laughs> if I hit refresh, there's now only one file in there. So, so this is done what it's supposed to do. So if I go back to the flow, which is having a bit of problems rendering, so we'll go back in here, uh, we can see that it's gone to that path and um, that the delete has been successful. We get a status code of 200 to say that the deletion has been successful. So if you can pass this path into it, uh, the user-friendly path, that will help you get the uh, help you use this action a bit neater, else you can specify things if you know what they're going to be, but they do need to exist. So that's not very helpful. You'll probably want something more like the, uh, the user-friendly path. So as I've, as I've kind of shown in the past, there's some actions and some triggers that give you that GUI path. There's some that give you the, the, the nice user-friendly path. You need to make sure you're using the user-friendly path. So I hope this video was useful. Um, if you did like it, if you could drop a like, um, maybe share this with your friends, that would really, uh, really help me out. If you, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.